Hello, I'm here with Penny Mordaunt. Please introduce yourself. I'm Penny Mordaunt. I'm the Conservative Member of Parliament for Portsmouth North. And you've been in Parliament since 2010, but you actually ran before in 2005. What was it that made you keep going? Uh, well, I think um, Portsmouth, well, the start is in my hometown, uh, and it was something that, that, an area that I was really keen to represent. Um, and I think that if you stick with it and you stick with the seat, um, you're rewarded. That, that matters. What the public hate is when people just sort of get parachuted into a seat and then uh, they're off at the next available opportunity on the, on the hope for something better. Um, that wasn't the case with me in Portsmouth. Um, so you, I mean, you know how it's been in terms of being unsuccessful and then obviously getting in. For women who are thinking about running, what is your advice to them to prepare for the kind of fullbacks, so to speak? I think that um, you need to have a very clear idea about what you're trying to achieve. Um, I think uh, a lot of people want to go into politics not quite knowing quite what it's about. So do your research. Um, Organisations like Women to Win can, can help you learn more about it, get involved with the party, uh, try the job out <laughs> for a bit, um, uh, and, uh, and that will make up your mind as to whether it is something you're prepared to do in the long, long term. And I think it is a, it is a long haul thing um, if you want to be successful in this particular line. You, you have to really be prepared to put in years and years of work. Um, it's, it's not a, something that can be sort of done overnight. And how important is it for women to have a background and work away from politics? I think, it's, I think it's vital. I mean, I think this applies to everyone. Um, I think that um, people that come into the House who haven't actually uh, done, a, uh, done a job outside politics, they might have been, you know, researching or been in a think tank and that sort of thing, but they haven't actually uh, worked for a charity or set up their own business or come into contact with, um, with all areas of, of the world and society, um, they're at a disadvantage. It's not, you know, it's not compulsory to, to have some life experience, but it doesn't half help. So um, I would say, you know, particularly to, to candidates that are, that are very young, get involved, find out what it's about, but don't think that just because, you know, we've got a very young Prime Minister, <laughs> they necessarily uh, have to start very, very young to have a, a political career. Life experience really does matter in a place like this. And what's been your proudest moment so far as an MP? Well, I think a year in, um, the most rewarding stuff has been the con constituency work, the actual case, you know, case by case basis. Um, we've had a lot of, very sadly, um, a lot of cases with people not being able to get NHS treatment they should have under the NHS constitution. One lady in particular uh, needed a cancer drug that she should have got, and it took us six months to get that for her, but we did get it for her. Uh, eventually and, uh, and certainly what we've learned from that uh, experience we can then apply up here to make sure that you know she doesn't have uh, other people don't have that that horrific experience so it's the it's the local constituency stuff that's the most rewarding for me and uh, what three words would you describe um, as the sort of qualities you would need to be an MP I think optimism uh, can be a frustrating place and uh, things don't happen speedily so uh, optimism and determination think are two qualities you need um, and I think you need to have um, balance as well uh, particularly under coalition we're in this building a lot Monday to Thursday uh, you need to keep you know your, your feet on the ground your, your head in the real world uh, and in touch with things that matter to your constituents uh, so uh, optimism determination and balance brilliant and finally why is it important to have more women in Parliament well, you know, we, we are more than half the, the population and um, I think there are many reasons why we need more women MPs. Um, we do bring a different perspective to legislation. Uh, we bring a different focus on what it actually is important. Um, but also, I think, although it sounds a trivial issue, Parliament needs to reflect uh, the, the population as a, as a whole. Um, we, we don't have MPs that come from... Uh, um, very modest backgrounds. This, this time around, we got lots of people who are GPs and business people, and that's all very good. But you know, primary school teachers, nurses, etc., are uh, you know that are a rare find uh, in uh, in Parliament. So we need more people from those kind of backgrounds, and we need more women in. Um, a because we need to help us make better legislation, but also I think it would give the country more confidence in its Parliament. Brilliant. Thank you so much. For